All right, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this blog. Here to give you a scout report on defensive tackle Sheldon Rankings coming out of Louisville. Now he's from Covington, Georgia. Pretty good player coming out of high school. Decided to come just a little bit up north to play for the Cardinals and coach Bobby Petrino. Now let's talk about a little bit about his career. It's definitely caught my attention starting in 2014. Entering 2014 season, I was really keen on Lorenzo Malden as the top passing threat, um, pass rusher threat for the uh, Louisville defense, but it was, it was actually Rankins who outperformed him, who had uh, 14 and a half tackles for loss to go along with nine sacks, both leading the team, and I thought he was had a pretty good 2015 season as well. Now, he had six sacks this past season and 13 tackles for loss, which is still great numbers for the defensive tackles. Now, it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Now, he definitely offers the power to line up in the a gap. He's definitely a good um, fit for A gap and he can um, take on multiple blockers which we have seen during his career for the past couple of seasons. And he does have the initial lateral quickness to stunt and loop around bodies to um, close the pocket which is a great uh, trait about him. Now he can be unblockable on one on one situations. Like I said he's a big time threat if he is one on one. He had a big season especially one of the uh, key performances coming towards the end of the year. Now he definitely has heavy hands and terrific momentum and, and to generate movement at the point of break of attack which is great traits about him as well and we all know that due to his numbers he could definitely wreck havoc and cause disturbance in that line of scrimmage and even get behind the line of scrimmage now he even is an impressive player at um, 6 foot 1, 300 pounds he was even used at times in 2015 due to injuries to play defensive end which shows his versatility but he's a better 3 technique scheme I see him more as a fit for 3 technique at the next level. Now he does have some weaknesses though. He still needs to refine his skills. Just needs to really need to keep his hands active and understand when to make certain moves. Make make a better transition using different maneuvers to evade um, on blockers and shed off blockers. And he could sometimes be the last um, player off the ball. And lastly, he could be he could stand straight up, which is not good. If he stands straight up, he will lose leverage and he definitely get pushed away. He needs to do a better job staying low. And at six foot one, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked with that he needs to be he needs to just all he has to do is just to bend a little bit which will be a great advantage over uh, off opposing offensive linemen now my projection for rankings this season i see him as a late first rounder at at uh at best early second rounder of this year's draft. I see at least four defensive tackles being selected, and he could be possibly that fourth. Most likely, it could be even a fifth, uh, up to five defensive tackles picked in the first round, but I see four. He could be that fourth guy in the late uh, of the first round, or, in, or at worst, early of the second round. But I see him more of a late first round pick of this year's draft. Now, the next I'm going to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes with more scout reports. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.